check out the most expensive diamonds in the world. You don't believe how much money the rare and valuable jewelry stones on this top list are worth. Number 10. The Heart of Paternity The stone was made into the Heart of Eternity Diamond, was found at the world's largest supplier of diamonds, the South African Premier Diamond Mine. Blue diamonds are incredibly rare, on average only one being found every year. This one was an amazing find. The rough stone was 777 carats when they dug it up, and the owners waited until they had a perfect design idea before they started cutting it. The result was the Millennial Blue Diamonds, a series of hard, pure drop and an oval shaped diamond, of which the heart of eternity is the largest. In recent years, it has been on tours at various exhibitions, including at the Millennium Exhibition in London in 2000, followed by the Smithsonian Museum. The $16 million prize tag is an estimate based on its size and color, but the finished product could be worth far more when you consider what a rare piece it is. Number 9. The Musayev Red Diamond Diamond come in many colors, but the red ones are particularly rare. According to the Cape Town Diamond Museum, there had only been up to 30 true red diamonds ever found, with most of them being less than half a carat. A farmer in Brazil found a rough stone that was to become the Musayev Red Diamond in the 1990s. At a weight of 13.90 carat, it immediately became the center of attention. The William Goldberg Diamond Corporation from New York then bought it and decided to cut it into a triangular brilliant cut. This process would mean losing 8.79 carats but the resultant cranberry colored 5.11 gem is simply stunning. At number 8, the perfect pink. When it was sold for 23 million in 2010, the perfect pink diamond was the most expensive jewel that had ever been sold in Asia. It weighs 14.23 carat, is graded as fancy intense pink, and is set in a rose and white gold ring with rectangular shaped diamonds on either sides. Pure pink diamonds of more than 10 carats are very unusual, with only 18 examples having gone to auction in the past 244 years, none of which was classified as intense pink at the time of sale. This makes the perfect pink a truly unique piece. At number 7, the Wheels Back Diamond. The first record of the Wills Back Diamond come from the 17th century when it was sold to Louis XIV of France. It has a rare blue color and weighs 35.56 carat. The stone has a royal history. Having been passed down through family since in the 1600s, it went from France to Spain and over to Germany, where it accompanied the German King Louis III to his burial place in the 1921. At some point in the 30s, it was sold to raise money for the German government and from there, things get mysterious. No one seems to know who bought it and it somehow got replaced with a piece of blue glass in the museum. Rumors of the actual diamond changing hands were in Greek in the following decades, until 1962 when it reappeared in Belgium. And it was sold for 23.4 million US dollar in 2008. To the dismay of diamond historians, the new owner decided that it should be recut since it had originally been done in the 1600s. The resulting stone, now 21.6 carats, meant both the color and the quality were improved, and the estimated price skyrocketed. Number 6 on the list, the Oppenheimer Blue, is a 14.62 carat vivid blue diamond that in May of 2016 became the most expensive jewel ever sold at the auction until April of 2017 when it was surpassed by the Pink Star Diamond. The diamond was named for its previous owner, Philip Oppenheimer. It is cut into a rectangular or an emerald cut. The Oppenheimer Blue is the largest fancy vivid blue diamond classified by the Gemological Institute of America ever sold at auction. It is sold at Christie's in Geneva in May of 2016. Two telephone bidders had competed for the diamond. The identity of the purchaser is not publicly known. Number 5 on the list, the Pink Star, formerly known as the Stainmetz Pink, is a diamond weighing 59.60 carat, rated in a color as a fancy vivid pink, 
by the Gemological Institute of America. The pink star was mined by the Beers in the 1999 in South Africa and weighed 132.5 carat in the rough. The pink star is the largest known diamond having been rated vivid thing. And because of its exceptional rarity, the Benny Steinmetz group called the Steinmetz Diamond took a cautious 20 months to cut the pink. It was unveiled in Monaco on May 29th of 2003 in a public ceremony. On 3rd of April 2017, the pink star was sold at an auction in Hong Kong, 71.2 million US dollars, to Chow Tai Fook Enterprise. Number 4. The Centenary Diamond. 273.85 carats, the third largest diamond it was discovered in the Premier Mine on July 17, 1986 using X-ray imaging system. Centenary Diamond is rated D by the Gemological Institute of America, which is the highest grade of colorless diamond and is internally and externally flawless. There was a special room designed underground in Johannesburg, South Africa, for the sole purpose of working on the Centenary Diamond with design specification including strength and stability so as to prelude mechanical vibration and temperature vibrations to minimize any factors that might interfere with the cutting of the Centenary diamond for over a period of 154 days. The final gem had 247 facet, 164 on the pavilion and crown, and 83 on the girdle. While the stone has never been publicly appraisal for value, it is known to have been insured at over 100 million US dollar at the time of its unveiling in May 1991. The stone was loaned to the Tower of London where it is displayed for a number of years, but the true owner is unknown. Number 3. The Hope Diamond is one of the most famous jewels in the world, with ownership records dating back almost four centuries. It is much admired, rare blue color is due to the trace of amounts of boron atom. Weighing 45.52 carats, its exceptional size has revealed new findings about the formation of gemstone. It has been described as being a fancy dark grayish blue. The jewel is believed to have originated in India, sold to King Louis XIV in 1668, stolen in 1791. It was recut with the largest section acquiring its hope name when it reappeared in the catalog of gem collection owned by the London banking family called Hope in 1839. After going through numerous honor, it was sold to Washington social elite Evelyn Walsh McLean, who was often seen wearing it. It was purchased in 1949 by the New York Jewel merchant Harry Winston, who toured it for a number of years before giving it to the Washington National Museum of Natural History in 1958, where it has been since remained on permanent exhibition. On January 13, 2012, the diamond was returned to its historic setting, and the current place was implanted with another diamond worth at least a million dollars. The Hope Diamond has long been rumored to carry a curse, possibly due to its aging trying to arouse interest in the stone. It was last reported to be insured for 250 million US dollar. Number 2. The Kulinan Diamond is the largest gem quality rock diamond ever found, weighing 3,106.75 carat. Discovered at the premier number no. 2 mine in Kulinan, modern day South Africa on January 26, 1905, it was named after the chairman of the mine, Sir Thomas Kulinan. It was presented to King Edward VII of the United Kingdom for his 66th birthday and cut into several Polish gems, the largest of which is named Kalinan I, or the Great Star of Africa, and at 530.4 carats, it was the largest clear-cut diamond in the world. In 1905, due to the immense value of the Kulinan, the authorities in charge of the transportation were forced a huge potential security problem. Detectives from London were placed on a steamboat that was rumored to carry the stone, where the parcel was ceremoniously placed in a captain's safe and guarded throughout the entire journey. However, this was a discovery tactic. The stone on that ship was a fake meant to attract those who could be interested in stealing it. The aqua diamond was sent to England in a plain box via parcel post. 
Kulinun 1 is mounted in the head of the sovereign scepter with cross, the second largest Kulinun 2, or the second star of Africa, at 370.4 carats, is the fourth largest cut diamond in the world and is mounted in the imperial state crown. Both diamonds are part of the crown jewels which belongs to the monarch in right of the crown. Number 1. Kuinur, Persian for Mountain of Life, is the largest less colorless diamond that was found in the Kalur mine, India, in the 17th century. The stone changed hands several times between various factions in Asia until ending up in the possession of Queen Victoria after the British conquest of Punjab in 1849. In 1851, the stone was displayed at the Great Exhibition, but many visitors found it luxur and asymmetrical. A year later, Prince Albert Hasman of Queen Victoria ordered to cut down the Custer diamond. It emerged 42% lighter as an oval cut brilliant weighing 105 carats. By modern standard, the culet is usually brown and given the impression of a black hole when the stone is viewed on head-on. It is nevertheless regardless by the gemiologists as being full of life. The Koh-i-Noor acquired a reputation within the British royal family for bringing bad luck to any man who wears it. Since arriving in UK, it has only been worn by female members of the family. Victoria wore the stone in a brooch and a circlet. After she died in 1901, it was set in the crown of Queen Alexandria, wife of Edward VII. It was transferred to the crown of Queen Mary in 1911 and finally to the crown of Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, in 1937. Today, the diamond is on public display in the Jewel House at the Tower of London, where it is seen by millions of visitors each year. The government of India, Pakistan, and Afghanistan have all claimed ownership of the koh i -Noor and demands its return ever since India gained independence from UK in 1947. The British government insists that the gem was obtained legally under the terms of the last Treaty of Lahore. Thank you for watching.